Hello everybody and welcome to tutorial number five for Fusion 360. Again, we're just covering the basics here. Where we just left off with tutorial number four, we created this circle on our sketch and that's not very exciting at this point. We also learned how to delete a line. Now what we're gonna do, we had finished our sketch, so we're gonna click our house button again on our view cube. It's gonna turn us into isometric. What we wanna do is we wanna cut a hole through this part. To do that, we're going to go in here and we're going to choose extrude just like we did when we created the block but this time we're going to make a cut so we're going to move our menu out of our way and you'll notice nothing turned blue this time remember when we did the block itself it turned blue that's because the computer understood what we needed now it has a question it wants to know what it wants so right here in our menu it says select the profile we want to choose the actual hole so choose the circle and it turns blue and we have our little arrow again now, if you want to, you can drag it out to create a cylinder or a pin. All right, we could change draft if we wanted to. All right, we don't want to do either of those things, though. We want to create a cut. One way to create a cut is to drag it backwards through your solid object and notice that it's turning red. Okay, I know my block's one inch thick, so right now our dimension right here says one, minus one inch. Okay, if you ever wonder where negative numbers come into play, now you're going to understand. Okay. Cutting is a negative extrusion, all right? The other way I can do it, if we bring this back out, is I can go into my distance and I could type negative one, or let's pull this back out one more time. I can go down to operation where it says join, I can choose cut. Cut tells it now that I wanna go somewhere, all right? And I'm gonna again type negative one in here. And it understands that we are cutting this cylinder out. We're not adding it to it. And when I click OK and I turn my view cube, your view cube, you can either use the corners on these or you can click on a face. So I'm going to click front. And now we've got a perfect hole in there. And that hole is perfectly centered in this rectangle. All right. So I'm going to turn that corner or you can click the house button. Either or will do it. All right. If you ever lose your drawing, click on the house. Home will bring you back to your part. Okay. That's how we're going to go about cutting a hole into this. If you've reached this point, you've completed a basic one, two, three block. Now we're going to start making modifications in, in the following tutorial.